hello welcome back to my channel my name is alicia Danell. thank you so much for coming back for another video i did record this get ready with me makeup and hair i hope you guys enjoy it i'm going to be starting out by just wand curling my hair i'm going to pin curl my hair the wand that i'm using is a eva new york um eva nyc wand curler i got it from sally's um i think it's about 49 dollars. i think i'm not sure i think i got it on sale but i'm not sure but I'm gonna just um, pin my or wind my hair up and then pin it up um, and let it sit while I do my makeup. And y'all, please excuse that Nike box in the back back there. I did not know that my that Nike box was back there until my video was all done, and I was not about to re redo this whole video all over again. So just excuse that back there. So um, I am trying to get further in the back and do a little bit more curls so that it could be a little bit more bouncier my hair does need to be washed so it is kind of heavy from me putting some oil on my edges and stuff like that and greasing my scalp so my um my hair is getting really heavy so I'm trying to give get a little bit more bounce by putting a little bit more curls than I normally would do and y'all excuse my daughter too she comes in the video a few times in the mirror up there so excuse her as well I'm just finishing up my last curl here and I'm just going to pop into doing my shadow this is a juvia place mini palette the um i think it's the berries by juvia place i did not put a picture of the front of it but i did put a picture of the colors that i'm going to be using in the frame um they do not have names unfortunately so um but it is the berries by juvia place it's the mini palettes that they came out with and those are the colors that i'm using currently um and then i'm also just going to take a a clean brush and just kind of clean that up a little bit so that it won't have that harsh line so it looks blended um, and then again I'm going to take another color a darker burgundy color in that same Juvia's Place palette just to darken up my cre or my outer V a little bit So again, I'm just going back and forth, making sure that those um, edges are blended out really good and they don't have those harsh lines. So I'm going to take my um, NYX glitter glue um, and try to carve out my crease. I'm not very good with um, cut creases. I'm trying to get a little bit better. So I'm trying this NYX glitter glue. I usually use my P. Louise base. Um, but that is a little too wet for me um, and it feels like it gets messy. So I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Glue. Um, that worked a little bit better. Um, but I'm going to keep trying until I get better. Practice makes perfect. My hooded eyes, for some reason, will not allow me to get that in good. And I know I could do it. I just have to keep trying. gonna add a little bit more I, I actually do like this um, it, it lets the shadow stick really good and it's not as much fallout with this glue so I actually do like it I just gotta perfect my cut crease And y'all excuse my broke nail right there, but I was using it for today. I am taking the Huda Beauty palette, the Rose Gold Remaster palette um, for this color for my lid. And that color is actually called Rose Gold. I 
I'm just going to get that on there really good. And then I'm going to take that burgundy, that darker burgundy color again out of the um, Juvia's Place palette and just kind of clean that up a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean off my face for whatever the fallout was that I did get. I didn't get much, but I'm just going to use that just to clean up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put my primer on. I am using a Fenty Beauty primer as well as the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, the Fenty Beauty is a pro filter and the Prep and Prime is just a prep, prep and Prime that doesn't have a color. And me trying to get something off my face and whatever it may be. <laughs> I'm not oily or dry so you know I just use whatever and then my foundation I'm going to be using is the NARS natural radiant Longwear foundation um in the color Mako. I don't know if I'm saying that right but I will list it down below all products that I'm using in this video I will be listing them down below just in case I forgot to tell you uh, you guys anything oh and for my eyebrows um I did use the NYX not the NYX, I'm sorry, the Morphe Eyebrow Pencil, as well as my, um, uh, what is this, Ruby Kisses um, Level 9 Concealer for the cleanup under my brows as well. And the Morphe Pencil, I think it's in dark brown, I think, I'm not sure. And you're going to see me start off using a brush at first to blend my concealer, or my concealer, to blend my foundation out. Um, and then once I get it all the way in a little bit, I'm also going to take one of my Real Technique sponges, or I think it was a Real Technique sponge I used, or either the Black Sponge um, Beauty Blender, I should say, and further blend my foundation out. I like to use both of them. If anybody is wondering, that shelf behind me, I got it from Target. I think it was about $35. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Those pillows on my bed, most of them came from Hobby Lobby or um, TJ. No, Hobby Lobby. No, I think they all came from Hobby Lobby, actually. They all came from Hobby Lobby. Um, that white mirror up there, my cousin gave it to me. And I spray painted it white. It was orange when she gave it to me. Um, and then the pictures back there that you see with um, the pink ones, those came, or actually I printed those out actually and just made a frame, or bought a frame, excuse me. And then I spray painted the frames as well. The concealer that I'm using um, is the Born This Way concealer in the color Chestnut along with Juvia's Place concealer in the color for level 14 oh and the day bed I also got that from Kmart I think Kmart.com after I get this room the way I want it I am going to be doing a tour but I first got to get it how I want it um, and then again, I'm just going to take that sponge and just blend out my concealer a little bit. Um, you'll see me going back and forth with different um, sponges because I like to blend it out first and then I'll take a cleaner one to really get it clean. You will see me. I think I may um, use my brush again too. Sometimes I do that. I just can't remember if I did it in this video or not. Or if I just use that clean 
beauty blender I'll probably just use that clean clean beauty blender actually so I'm gonna use an oldie but goodie this is the Ben 9 banana powder um I'm using that because I have so much oops I'm sorry y'all I can't even see um I'm using that because I have so much of this stuff so I just want to use it up and then I will get something different different um I do have other stuff I have Laura Mercier as well and I'm sorry guys I'm not in a frame I'm coming back um but um I wanted to get this used up so I didn't want to use my Laura Mercier ones And off camera, I did use my Fenty Beauty um, Espresso Match Stick to contour right there. I didn't tape it. I took that out. I don't know. I lost the footage or something. I'm not sure. But I'm also taking that Ben 9 just to carve out my, my um, clean up my concealer or my contour as well. And then I'm going to be taking the MAC Studio Fix um, powder in the color NW43 to set my face and also clean some of that powder off my face as well setting spray off my face as well i did off camera put on my eyeliner as well as my lashes and the lashes that i'm using is or i have on is the baddie b insta hole lashes these are really good these are really pretty it took me a long time to get used to them but they are really pretty So I'm going to um, be bronzing my face with the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy bronzer. Um, and then I'm also going to set that um, cream concealer as well. And then also bronze through my face with it as well. If y'all hear any noise in the background, um, it may be the cars outside or the TV is also on in the house. I tried to close the door so you guys can hear it. That blush I'm using is from Ace Beauty and I did get that from BoxyCharm. And I'm just using that last dark burgundy color. I thought it goes well with the eyes. And then I'm also going to be using the Juvia Fake, Juvia, Juvia's Place. Um, loose eye, I, I, mm, I can't talk. Juvia's Place loose highlighter in the color Nubia. I think I might have put another one on too, but I don't remember what color it was. I think it was a royalty, but I'm not too sure. Or no, I didn't. I used the 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 backup opal first, and then that Juvia's Place one. I'm not talking to myself, y'all. I'm talking to my daughter. <laughs> she came in the room a couple of times. Or either I'm listening to music and singing one of the two. I'm just adding a little bit more highlighter. I like highlighter and I like for people to be able to see my highlighter. So I'm just adding a little bit more highlighter onto my cheeks just to make it pop just a little bit more. And then I'm going to be taking one of the sponges. Oh, I'm sorry. I did put that on my, um, the brow bone as well to get that highlight up there as well. And then I'm also going to take a sponge to clean up some of that, um, highlighter that's on my, on my cheek as well. Okay, I took the brush to just clean that up a little bit, blend that um, highlighter out. I 
thought I took a sponge and cleaned up that highlighter too, but I guess I didn't. The highlighters are also going to go in my inner tear duct, and I am going to take a Q-tip and clean that up. I don't know when in the video I'm going to do that, but <laughs> I do know that I do it. So, I am going to be using my mascara. That is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black um, Mascara. And then I'm also going to use the Maybelline uh, Colossal Big Shot. I did not tape that part, but I am going to be using that one as well. My eye, my bottom lashes are really small, so I'm, I try to get them to come out with two different mascaras. And I'm sorry, y'all, I'm not in the frame. I apologize. I keep looking up to see if I'm in a frame. So right here I'm just going to use my NYX Bear With Me setting spray. It's a primer and a setting spray, but I only use it for setting spray. And that is the look right there. I hope you guys like it came out really pretty if you do if I do say so myself <laughs> I did do my bottom lash off the camera um with the same colors that I put on my eyes and right here I'm just getting ready to um take my pink curls out and get my hair together not a, a big do my hair type of girl I'm still learning to maintain my hair and do fine curls and all the other kind of stuff. I do have a sew-in. I'm not good with frontals or closures. So I normally have just a regular old traditional sew-in. Um, and if you are wondering, the hair that I have in, it's from Desor Hair. Um, and I have inches 226, 24, and a 22. And it is uh, Brazilian straight. So I'm just going to let you guys watch from here. I'm just going to be fixing my hair. Um, and then that's going to be it for the video. Like I said, all products will be listed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you guys real soon in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.